Hello, this is Atubo and Gloria George, and we are so excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, before we go into today's broadcast, can we call for that daily yeah. bread? Say this with us, say, Father, Father, I receive today. I receive today. My daily bread. My daily bread. It's coming to me now. It's coming to me in now. Jesus in name. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And Father, we bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Today I declare every body is lifted. Amen. Every yoke is destroyed. Amen. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We speak life. Hallelujah. To everyone watching right now. Amen. We speak life. Amen into your being we speak life Hallelujah. into your being Amen. in the name of the lord jesus christ Amen. i see someone you're having pain in the legs mm. you hardly can walk if you will stamp that feet right now mm. the lord is saying to you you are healed Amen. put it down mm. and begin to walk right mm. now Put it down Hallelujah. and begin to walk. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you are Amen. healed. Amen. If there is any kind of sickness in your body, right now, we release that anointing that brings healing into you right now. Take it. In the name of the Lord Jesus, receive your healing now. Receive your healing now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. you can begin to stretch and do what you couldn't do before. The Lord is healing many of you. You can Amen. begin what you couldn't do before. Just begin to do it right now. And you will see that the pain is gone. Praise God. Oh, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Wow. Now... Can you just share what's in your spirit to share with us? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, um, yesterday we talked about tithing. Abraham commanded his children after God, and God said that they may keep the way of the Lord so to do righteousness and all this. So we started breaking down, you know, mentioning some instances where you can teach your children yeah. to love the Lord. We talked about tithing. Talked about attitude. You know, let me just say this before you go on. Okay. You know. <laughs> let me just strip this here. Please do. The blessing has instructions. Yeah. If you don't know the instructions of your blessing, mm. you will know what to command. Mm -hmm. Commanding is not just teaching people to be good Christians. Mm -hmm. Every family have their representation. Every family have their that thing that God have blessed them. Like the Bible mm -hmm. spoke about the children of Issachar. Mm -hmm. Their blessing is they understood the times mm -hmm. and they always knew what Israel should do. Mm -hmm. So it means from Issachar, counselors were coming forth from it, it, the sons of Issachar instructs government. Mm. They they tell you understand what I'm saying? Mm. Those are the sons of Issachar. Mm. Now so Abraham's case, because of what we read, God commanded him concerning the tithe. Then God concerning con commanded him concerning marriage. Mm. Now these were two prominent instructions in Abraham's life. Right. And guess what? You see those two major things in the third generation. Yeah. That's what they carry mm. to the third generation. And God confirmed the blessing. Yes. So the fact that you oh, I'm blessed, and you don't know the instructions sure. to keep the mm. blessing, mm. then you don't have what to command. Abraham paid tithe. Now, the Bible didn't write about Isaac paying tithe. Mm. But we find Jacob making mm. God a promise mm. that if you keep me in this journey, I will tithe. Someone must have spoken Talking. to me. Yes. And that's how we know that Isaac, Isaac did. did tithe. Mm. 
and God blessed Jacob. Go on. Praise God. God blessed Jacob because Isaac passed down what he took from Abraham. Abraham, his father. Abraham passed from the Lord to so his household his exactly. what he was receiving from the Lord. Yeah. It's just bringing to my spirit that this man had a vision for his family. And that vision was given to him from the Lord. From just the like Lord, you yeah. said. What your vision must be from the Lord. Yes. The Bible says if you keep your eyes single, your, your whole, whole body, body will be full, will be full of light. So, you know, it's so, it was so funny that it didn't matter the behavioral patterns of Jacob. Mm. If he kept those mm -hmm. two instructions, the blessing of Abraham will be saving his life. Mm. So the father called him and said, Look, guy, you know, we already, it was last week already. Mm. Don't marry. From here. God gave the same instructions to Abraham. Mm. And so we we'll find, we'll find Abraham mm. commanding the servant, swear. Because so, he was an mm. old man. He mm. can't start going all the way looking for. So he had to mm. delegate. But the one he's delegating, he didn't just give him. And he says, swear, put your hand on my lap. Mm. And that's how Abraham saw that instruction. I can't joke with it. Yes. So he, now he was passing down the instruction he received from the Lord to I his see. servant. Okay to go and execute. Mm. But then he had to bring the guy into an oath. Yeah. He didn't just say casually. He brought him into an oath. So I swear. So sometimes when God has given you instruction and you need to delegate, don't delegate casually. Just to anyone. No. That's why you it has to, to be someone you have, have trained. trained. Someone you have trained. I keep saying, how can you trust your children with health? With and you don't train them. With aunties, uncles, cousins, brothers, sisters that have not received the training that you are receiving from the Lord concerning the vision that God has given to you. If they don't understand the path, they will just be bringing in strange mm. teachings, you know. But when they understand what you say, as the head of the home and this is where consistency comes in when people come in with all sorts you say no this is how i want it done because this is how god says we should do it here and then they submit you see the way they relate you see their actions you yeah. see their words yeah. then you begin to have confidence in them you also see them make decisions because it's not just enough to teach. Give them opportunity to make decisions. To make decisions, yeah. Sometimes when you go out, watch how they handle situations. Even when you are there, watch how they handle situations. Watch how they handle your children. Yeah. You know, when you you give your help and instruction, and then you're always the one telling her how to do it. After you have told her how to do it, you watch. Give her the opportunity to express. Give everybody in your home the opportunity That's to express. That's how you know what is in their in heart. In their heart. And then when they display, you correct in love. You keep correcting in love. When there is need for separation for those that don't want to adhere, the of Lord course. knows how to handle it. Of course. It. He will take them out. Why? Because your eyes focus on the On blessing, that vision. On the vision that you have received from God. Remember mm. that if these people don't care and follow your training, what God has said to you will not come to it pass. It won't come to pass. You will not always be with your children. You know what the Lord is saying to me now? That as, as we're speaking right now, mm -hmm. and we're going to pray about this. Okay. That there are many families that don't realize what vision they carry. And he said, but as you're speaking now, I'm going to begin to, because of what, you know, because you, we have taught, we're teaching. Now, yes. The Lord is saying to you that is watching, I'm going to begin to bring my vision clearly to you so that you will begin to see and know what I want you to, to do. do. 
And the vision I give to you is not just for you, it's for your children's children. children. So the Lord is saying that you begin to see your own patterns different from every other person. Mm. You begin to see your own patterns. Mm. And as you walk closely with me, I will give you the instructions where that vision is concerned. When there is no vision. You know, for example, God has blessed us not just in things, but in so much wisdom concerning meeting our needs. And all these things are hinged on specific instructions. For example, finances. He said, honor the Lord with your substance. Now, he didn't say give the Lord your substance. Honor mm. the Lord with your substance. Meaning, you have substance. You've got to be deliberate in honoring, honoring the, the Lord with it. Mm. So when we talk about giving to the Lord, it's not just money that God is after. How you mm. give matters to the Lord. You give your tithe, you want to give your tithe, it must be a mark of honor. How do you honor God with your tithe? It must be the first thing you do with that money mm. that you receive. Mm. When, once you get a harvest, the first thing you do with that harvest is to take mm. out the tithe. Mm. The first spending, hear me, the first spending of that money, it's not the money God is after because he will instruct you to Lord give the money to someone or whatever. But you see, God, what God delights in is the honor mm. that you give to him. Yeah. So you just receive money. Wow, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, you blessed me. Okay, I'm honoring you with my tight first. Now it comes to offering. Free will giving. Yeah. You know, you go to church, you go for a meeting, you want to give an offering. It must be with honor. Mm. You don't just get in there and say, oh, it's offering time. You start putting your hands and start looking for what to give. No, that's not honor. You've wasted your money. It's the truth. You've wasted your money. You must determine. The Bible says, let everyone give as he has proposed in his heart. His heart. Not grudgingly or of necessity. This thing, nobody should tell you you must yes. give for this thing. Yes. Now, once they say that and you give, you're breaking the law of giving. He says it must not be of necessity, it must be of your free will. But when you give it by your free will, it must be as a mark of honor. How do you honor? by taking close attention to what you're giving and your heart must be in your in giving. Your giving. Mm -hmm. So you don't give squeeze notes to mm -hmm. the Lord. You don't. You don't, you, don't, you don't put money in the offering, you squeeze it so that people will not know what you're giving or let the right hand not know what the left hand is giving. Come on now. No. Not like, like, like Malachi said, give it to your governor and say, you, you can't take squeeze money and give to someone that you respect in the society mm -hmm. and say, sir, I want to bless you. And you squeeze it and put it in his hand. That's an insult. You can't mistake. You would have planned it. That's an insult. Mm -hmm. So when he says, honor the Lord with your substance, there must be the mark of honor. honor. That is what God blesses. When you honor God, he will honor you. When you begin to give God like that, you don't put people through stress before you give to them. You know, you know there, are, there, are, there are times, there are people like that. God commands you, even where Titan is concerned, or maybe God commands you to give money to someone. And say, how can I just give this person this money like that? Ah, no. for it. Um, what do I do now? You call the person. Maybe the person is down there. You, know? you call the person and say, hey, come. Um, can you work in my compound tomorrow? Um, I, need, I need to help me clean my compound. And the person finish cleaning the compound. And I say, take it might be something big beyond what someone who cleans the combat will be paid. Mm -hmm. Now the person is excited, but you did not honor the Lord where that giving is concerned. You did not magnify 
the Lord. Because now that person will see that he got paid for, for what, what he, he did. did, even though the payment was big. Mm. But he got paid for. What but meanwhile, God expected it to give the person and said, the Lord said him. I should give you this. Mm. Now he could walk. The Lord said, to you, yes. So the Lord loves me so much that he will command you to get. Yeah. He goes magnifying the Lord. So that's how we honor the Lord. And that's what he responds to. He responds to the honor. He's not just talking about the money you give. It's the honor that you give that God responds to. Praise God. Our time is up. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Can we just pray? Father, just like you said, and we believe. Visions are being restored Amen. in homes. Amen. Every family watching us right now, Amen. visions are being restored. Amen. Visions are coming to them now. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. We love you so much. And we're going to see you tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye. God bless you. Bye -bye. God bless you.